Hey, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are in Saskatchewan, Canada at Delta Outfitters. Clay Roberts is the owner of this place and he's a fan of Deer Meat for Dinner. A few months back, he got in touch with me and said, hey man, I'd love to come down fishing. If you would like to come up here hunting, I'd love to have you. So uh, we started talking back and forth and he's just such a nice guy. Eventually I said, hey man, let's make this happen. So I planned my trip up here and I'm after a black bear. He's got a lot of fawns in this area and there are certain male black bears in the area that have been ravishing the fawns and they're just disruptive, angry bears. So these are the bears that are like in between 150 and 200, 250 pounds. It's like they're teenage bears. They have a lot of testosterone. They're super angry, really mean, and uh, they do a lot of damage. So that's what I'm after. I've never killed a, bla a black bear with my bow. I've never even hunted one with my bow. So I've put a lot of thought into this. This is my setup. It's a diamond carbon deploy bow, QAD drop away. This is the Burris Oracle sight. I love this thing. I just did a video on it. It's calibrated to my bow and arrow combination. Shooting Carbon Express Mayhem Hunter 350s. They're the SDS, which stands for small diameter shaft. And I'm gonna shoot either the Rage Tripan or the Rage Hypodermic NC. NC stands for no collar, which means the blades just lock into place. But I feel like I'm gonna shoot the Tripan because it's the strongest and sharpest broadhead Rage makes. And if you know anything about me, you know I'm a Rage fan. So without further ado, Clay is showing up. I'm gonna set up these arrows and we are gonna get ready to hunt. So ATVs from here, 25 mile trip to there. Wow. And this is Manitoba? Yeah, that's the Manitoba border. Wow, so this is Saskatchewan, yeah. that's Manitoba. You betcha. And is this a river? Yeah, that's the Saskatchewan River, it runs right through. Right past camp here. I've never been bear hunting. This is totally new to me. What can I expect? Like, how many bears do you have in this area? I couldn't even imagine how many is actually there. A little more than what there should be, I guess. That's kind of what we're doing here is trying to control the population and keep things intact. That's all our bear area, so we can hunt that whole area, which is about roughly 850 square miles. 850. So if you want to know how many acres that is, Multiply 850 times 640, that's how many acres. Now, in all that property, how many bears do you typically harvest per, per year? We honestly only take 12 to 15. We're, we're not here to, to you know, take out as many as we can. We're here primarily because this community up here is so remote. We're getting bears going into that community, bothering the people and you know there's kids that are in danger that kind of stuff so that you so we work with the community because we're right here and we kind of that's why we target along this road right right so any bears that are coming up and are going to be problem bears we take out i gotta admit i'm not nervous but anxious would definitely be a good word for it i'm like anxious because i've never done this i'm really excited about it but i'm ready it's where all the preparation meets opportunity. You know it's crazy when they say bring your head mask and your uh, your safety glasses. It's gonna be a long ride. <laughs> This is the end of the trail. Somewhere in there is a mean bear.
just had a bear literally walk up within 10 yards of us. I mean, it looked to be about a 150 pound bear. We're just sitting on a log right here and we can hear bears back in the distance going through the woods. It's our first day, so I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. He's coming to us. to tell y'all is we've been sitting here and he told me that they had a gnarly crazy crazy bear bear knew he was here i was actually waiting for a bigger bear he came he was sort of like pumped at us he kept coming i said hey hey he took one more step and did i did what i had to do this is a culmination of all the preparation and i got to give a monster shout out to rage broadheads this bear did not even go 20 yards. Whenever I hunt, I wanna make a clean, quick, ethical kill. We're probably a mile from the road, so we're gonna to try to get out of there and before it gets dark, get the four-wheelers, come back in here, load them up, and then we're gonna go clean them and then we're gonna cook them because there's nothing that I hunt that I'm not gonna eat. All right, you guys, so we got back last night, hung the bear in the cooler, and now we're ready to clean them. If you wanna watch me clean them, Click the first, uh, the first link in the description below, and that will be the uncensored version. If you don't want to watch me clean them, I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, you guys, well, I hope you got to watch me clean that bear because that was very interesting. Uh, here's some of the hind quarter, and here's some of the back strap. It's very important when you're cooking bear to cook it through and through. Uh, it's a predator, so it can carry trichinosis. Very important to cook it all the way through. This is a really nice roast. Nice piece of meat right there. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut out some of this fat. I'm just gonna try to cut off some of this sinew, some of the connective tissue. And when you do that, it allows the meat to be much more tender. I've heard from a lot of people that you need to brine uh, a bear meat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna he season it heavily with Everglades right now. Just we're really gonna put a lot of Everglades in here. Like that. And just let it like dig into that meat. Then throw it in the sink and we're gonna fill it up with water and just let it fall in love. here this is a roasting oven we've got it set at about 225 degrees we're just gonna lay some bacon in here look at the color of the meat it's, I mean it's just got a really beautiful healthy look to it I'm gonna render down a little bit of bacon fat and I mean we're at camp so I'm just making this whole dish up as I go Take our meat, 
let's start searing it. I think I'm ready to taste it right now. This smells so good. I'm really interested to see what bear tastes like. So what did you think last night when we were hunting and the bear came cruising in like that? I was thinking, if you don't shoot this thing, I'm about to chuck the camera at it because it's on the same log we're on. I don't know. <laughs> I know I could hear my heart pounding, beating out of my chest. That's awesome, man. Nice. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. Want that nice sear on the outside. This is my main man, Howie, right here. What you think, bud? I think my metal's good anyway. Yeah? Yeah. Nice bear meat, and we're going to just set it right in there. And then we're gonna pour some of that loving goodness right on top. Then we'll take and we'll break up some onions and just put onions like that. It's at about 210 degrees. We'll let it cook for two hours. And that's just gonna just break it down. It's gonna become tender. It's gonna become awesome. Then we're gonna start adding some potatoes and mushrooms and carrots and it's gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be real good. Just, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. You gotta taste this. That's <laughs> so good. That is so good. Doesn't have a unique flavor. It's not at all what I thought it would taste like. Amazing. Just watch the steam. That's like love and goodness right there, y'all. I ain't even kidding you. You know, people think of hunting as just, we're out killing things. We're not out killing things. This is a way of life that provides for our families and provides for us. Check that out. I ain't even kidding you. That right there, We'll make a monkey hug a hound dog daylight to dark with a smile on his face. I look like a pretty good monkey and a good hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is camp. This is camp. That's Clay. He owns Delta Outfitters here. For everyone who's wondering, bears, black bears in the lower 48, Alaska, Canada, they're not even nearly threatened. There are millions of them. And the best way to manage and sustain their numbers is through hunting. So a guy like Clay, he's an outfitter. There's no way for me, being an American, to come up here to Canada and hunt if I'm not with an outfitter. So I was contacted by Clay and a guy named Nate, who I will see on Monday, invited me up here. I was able to come bring Austin. And we have had nothing short of an amazing time. Now I will show you this. Whoa! Yeah, we just caught that a little while ago. And tomorrow we're gonna go fish all day for some big old northerns and walleye. But um, this is what it's all about. Catching, cleaning, cooking, and living this life. That's so good, I can't even explain it. But I wanna tell you I love you, I appreciate you, and I thank you for being a part of our family, a part of our life, and a part of our channel. That's all I got for you now though. Take care, God bless, and we go.